Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. When the young and the restless Nick told Sharon that everybody gets a little grumpy and short-tempered on occasion, he was definitely right. But this being a soap opera, we suspect there's more to the story than Sharon having a bad day. Longtime viewers know that Sharon's reference to the medication she takes for her bipolar issues are a major part of who she has become in recent years. Before being properly diagnosed and medicated, Sharon's behavior took a very dark turn, which saw her burning down the Newman Ranch and marrying Victor, twice. Truth be told, the Victor-slash-Sharon relationship was wildly unpopular, and not just with the audience. Eric Braden admitted during a recent Twitter exchange that he considered it to be one of the most badly executed storylines to ever unfold on the show. In fact, he went so far as to say, that storyline actually pissed me off. On the plus side, Sharon's behavior was recognized as a cry for help, which she received. But as the Crimson Lights owner told ex-hubby Nick, her medications have recently been adjusted which might explain her seeming slightly off. It seems unlikely, however, to be a coincidence that Nick is the one who noticed his high school sweetheart's mood change. After all, we're quickly approaching a very special episode, slated to air on Friday, June 21st, which will mark Joshua Morrow's 30th anniversary on the show. In it, Nick will find himself reflecting on his often complicated past, including his romance with Sharon all of which seems like a pretty strong indicator that a nick slash Sharon reunion is in the works. After all, her chief rival, Phyllis, seems otherwise occupied, thanks to her recently reawakened obsession with Danny. Furthermore, Nick hasn't had a love interest in what feels like years. If it seems that way to us, imagine how poor Nick must feel. As for Sharon, her short-lived dalliance with Chance seemed to have potential until he suddenly found himself being drawn into Summer's orbit. Aside from that, she's had no real story since the tragic death of her late husband, Ray Rosales. Finally, take into account the fact that current head writer Josh Griffith seems to like nothing more than rehashing the past and reuniting former couples such as Danny and Cricket.